In this video, we're gonna look at how we can maneuver the dog into sit, stand and down positions and different ways that we may achieve that. This is young Ellie and she's about five and a half months old. She does know these hand signals and has been taught them initially with food in the hand and then we'll talk about removal of the food to turn them into hand signals. So, no words at this early stage of training, so we're just trying to teach her the cue, hand above head, yep. Remember your pause and level. So I'm just gonna go, I'm using my lower hand, as you can see, I have got food in it that's not visible to the dog. Yep. And above there. Yep. And level, just bringing them forward into that stand. Yep. Okay, and the down we can do in a couple of different ways. So we can go from sit, take the food straight to the floor. Imagine a straight line. So straight, yep, to the floor. Straight to the floor, yep. Okay, or we can bring them into the stand and then push backwards. I'm just gonna straighten her up so she doesn't go off camera. Push backwards and lower the hand. Yep, get it. And then I tend to roll one out forward. Now you'll see with that type of down, I call it a cantilever down, so it's just a backwards down. Okay, it's a little bit more tricky but I'm getting a straighter down than what I'm getting from the sit. So if we bring Ellie up into the sit, and this won't be the case with all dogs, and then I bring her into the down, she flops over onto her hip, which is more of a kind of settle down. So see what your dog's giving you. Some dogs, depending on their size and their structure and their conformation, will be easier to manoeuvre one way or the other. Yep. Yep. Into that down. Yep. That's a better down. To that stand, rise, yep, good, and that's the cue that I use for that one. So let's have a look at the backwards down again. So I just slowly, yep, 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 good, whoosh. So I'd be looking for the dog to fully understand each of those positions. Ellie needs a little bit more work, particularly on the stand. She understands the sitting the down um, uh, 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 with, with food in my hand. But my next stage would be to remove the food from my hand. Okay, so we'll have a little look at that. So hand above head, yep. And then I bring the food in. Remember that pause between your marker. So into the down, no food in my hand, yep. And then the food comes in. And then I can feed in that bowl. Yep. And then the food comes in. So now the dog isn't just following the food, they're beginning to learn the hand signal. When we are ready whoosh, to say the word, we're going to say the word followed by a pause. Okay, remember they're learning in pattern, so they've got to clearly hear the word before you show them what that word means. Okay, so we go down and then we show them. Yep. Rise. Yep. Sit. Yep. Down. Yep. Rise. Yep. Sit. Yep. Good girl. Well done, little demo dog. Whoosh. Okay, so that's sit, stand, and down hand signals. Okay, I haven't been actually generic with my hand signals, so I do tend to use my lower hand for a stand. I tend to use a little bit more of a crane hand above the head. And at the minute when I've got food, it's just, just getting my hand to the floor. But obviously you could change the shape of it. Just make sure it's consistent for your dog. So essentially just the movement of the food is creating the position.